Oh, this is filming, hang on. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I've been to B&M. I don't go very often anyway, but certainly not in lockdown. It's about been about three months since I went last. <laughs> it came to 80 quid. Um, and I'm looking at it now thinking, how is that 80 quid? I'm sure that they put some other stuff in my trolley I didn't know about. Um, but I don't go very often. And the things we need, well, mostly things we need. I mean, we didn't need the huge peacock, as you'll see in a minute, but the mostly things we needed. Um, and I don't go to hairdressers. I don't have my nails done and stuff like that. The husband's got to accept that I cannot be trusted by implants or art supplies. Um, so it was about eight quid, but I'll show you anyway what I got. My t I've got tomato plants and they're all huge and they're in the window sills. We haven't got a proper green ass, so we can't get the big round tub. So I thought these would do because the triangle, the rectangle, they're still not really big enough, but they'll fit in the window sill. Three pound each there was, so three, six, nine, twelve, that's twelve quid there. But the metal, and I've had these before in the last of my years, so they should be alright. Um, this is the peacock we didn't really need. <laughs> Says it's 10 quid, but it was actually 6 quid. But I got it for Bean, who's 7. He loves fairy garden stuff and garden ornaments. I think he's going to be like my granddad. My granddad had about 100 gnomes. But, um, yeah, we didn't technically need that. I can't really justify that to the husband. But this is a fuchsia bush. Um, my mum had a fuchsia bush in the garden when I was little, and I've always wanted one. I have tried to grow my own a few times out of cuttings and never succeeded. So when I saw it, and because I didn't have the husband there to say no, Victoria, I just said, I'm having it. And then all the way home, I took the double buggy with me to carry it back. So all the way home, it's been in the double buggy like a baby, and I've been watching it. A few flowers still fell off on my own, but I'm going to plant it in a minute, and hopefully it'll flourish and be in our garden for years. And I got a little... Can... Campanula for £3.50 as well because I just thought it was lovely and then I had to control myself and say get out of the garden centre bit to Victoria because you cannot be trusted I've only got one packet of peas growing in the garden and normally because my kids love peas normally I plant about six packets of peas but when lockdown first started and everyone went, everyone went nuts there was no pea seeds left so because they had some and it's not too late to plant some I got three packets I'm going to plant Two down the allotment and one in the garden. I got this rainbow arch sprinkler because I, I just thought it'd be loads of fun for the kids, especially now it's warm because they love the paddling pool and things. So, yeah, I didn't technically need that either, but <laughs> we'll have lots of fun, I'm sure. Um, six pack of ready salted sea brooks crisps because they're nice. Some play doh. I wanted the cheaper play doh, but they only had their proper stuff. But the babies, well, I say babies are two or four, but I can call them babies while they're the youngest kids. Um, they keep asking for Play-Doh, so I just, I'm just going to get it. I'm just going to get it. Uh, felt tips, because we always need felt tips. Nobody ever puts the lids back on them. So, got them while I was there. Some shower gel for me, and I picked it up because it just looks nice. What is it? Pink jasmine scent. They are. I shall smell like a pink jasmine. Hopefully that's a nice smell. Um, I bought some beakers. Not last New Year, the New Year before. And they're all cracked and they need to go. So I've got four more for kids. And we never have any cups in this house because folk break them and drop them. So I'd, I've had to get two cups as well. One for the husband, one for me. See how long they last. Uh, tomato food. For his tomatoes. Pinky has wrecked all my makeup. She keeps put, putting it on. So I've got to be sending mascara, but I'm going to hide it. And it was only one ninety nine, so I'm going to hide it, and hopefully I'll have some mascara about it, trashing it. Nail varnish, because as you can see, I need some. Red look. I wanted some red lipstick, but I didn't have them. Um, now, £2, this is loads more than I normally pay for paper. Normally, I got scrap paper off Carol, who I work with, but I'm, I work shut for lockdown, so I can't get scrap paper for free off Carol. And they, were, they had no other paper. And the kids, we homeschooled the kids anyway. The kids liked to do art. We needed paper. So I spent two quid on paper, which I'm not happy about, but we needed paper. Um, we have pictures of rainbows in the window downstairs the kids did. And a lovely rainbow bunting my friend made in the window downstairs. But I saw these and I thought, oh, they'd be nice stuck in the kids' bedroom windows. You know, for lock I locked down rainbows. Four pot noodles, we'll use two, and I'll put two away, because my mum reckons there'll be a second wave of this coronavirus, so um, 
if people go nutty with shopping again, I, I want to know I've got a couple of non-perishables in. But responsibly bought. I'm not going to go nuts. I wanted paint for the kids. I didn't have none. I ended up buying glitter glue, which again, two quid each. Not happy about it, but there you go. Galaxy cake bars. Now, Pinky, see these, this is freaking me out. New shoes on the table. It's bad luck, isn't it? So I'm going to do this quick and move them. Um, Pinky needed new shoes. I got her some wellies off Amazon. But all the little girl sandals either weren't her size or you couldn't, because oh, cause they're on the internet, you can't see them. So I couldn't see how slippy the bottoms were or if they were wide enough for her or anything like that. So I got two pairs from B&M. Um, there's this pair, £4. Which again, ain't bad, you know, because some people spend like 40 quid for a pair of shoes from Clark's. Don't they right? I'm moving them because... I don't want them on my table, they're new. And these, but I've noticed these, that's coming out. I don't know if I need to out glue that in, sort hot glue the sole in. Because I don't want to have to keep having to pour them back in or she loses the soles and stuff. But I thought they were nice and they got rainbows on them. But they were four quid as well. But like I say, it comes about eight quid and I'm thinking, why is it eight quid? It probably is, but yeah, and, and, and I do... I do appreciate the fact that my husband's probably miffed and I shouldn't have bought the peacock. But <laughs> we all need a rainbow peacock in our gardens. <laughs> anyway, that's my B&M haul. Um, let me know if you've ever gone in B&M for a couple of things and come out with a, a multicolored peacock. See you next time, brand new video, bye-bye. Here's the essential peacock. I thought Beanie was going to put it over here with his other garden ornaments, but... <laughs> He's put the peacock on his own. Yeah, Beanie loves the garden ornaments, look. And he's got two there as well. And he has, um, that's his uh, windsock he made. The, um, sorry, this this phone keeps going in and out of focus. It's very annoying. <laughs> um, there is wind chimes. Two of them, two of them packets of pea seeds I'm going to take down the allotment. But me and Beanie's just planted some there and some there. Them peas are doing well, them there aren't doing very well. But like Pudge said, that bit's more in the shade. I never planted any in the middle because last year we buried a dead bird there and I was I was like, I'm not digging that up in case I come across a dead bird. Um, but Beanie had the idea of wedging a stick in to make holes and just put the, hole, the seeds in the holes because peas grow above ground, so I'm never going to have to dig it up. So we've done that. We've planted some there, some there. There's Beanie's new flower. And me and Beanie planted my fuchsia bush. Yeah, Pinky, excuse all the good toys everywhere. Um, as soon as I put them away, they'll get them back out. Anyway, you like it? The paddling pony's pumping back up. Look, though, I'll do that next. I like it. That rainbow arch is not as big as on the box. It's not as tall. And the husband says, of course it's not. But look, it's just the right size for Bod and Pinky. Pinky's liking it. Why does it fill up with water? Was oh, washing your hands? Yeah, wash your hands. Oh, in your hair. <laughs> Shall mummy pump your pole up and put some fresh water in it as well? Hey. Oh, it's all today. Well done. Headphones weren't working on computer and the husband's mended them. <laughs> How come little kids freak out when you wash their hair but they'll stand under something like that and get wet hair? <laughs> <laughs>